What's up guys, my name is Astro Kitty, and today we're going to be talking everything crypto keys. Now I've conducted a bit of an experiment here in Black Ops 3 to try and understand firstly what the determining factors are in how crypto keys are awarded in games, and then in using this information figure out how you can take advantage of these factors to maximize the amount of crypto keys you earn in every match you play. The main three factors I wanted to analyze was the outcome of the game, win or loss, my score from the match, and also my KD. So how I did this was I played 30 games straight of Team Deathmatch, recording if we won or loss, my score, and and also my KD from each match. My results can be found below in the description if you guys wanted to check for yourselves. On top of that, after each game, I measured the bar that comes up showing your progress to your next crypto key to figure out exactly how many crypto keys I earned from the match. I did this by measuring the bar on my screen along with my progress to the next crypto key and then use these two values to find the percentage of the way I was to my next crypto key. So for example, on my screen, the bar was 12.6 centimeters long. Say if the white progress meter was 2.3 centimeters long, I divide those two numbers to get a percentage of 18% or 0.18 crypto keys. So here I had 6.18 crypto keys. Then obviously to see how many crypto keys I got for a game, I just found the difference between this number after every match. To make this test as fair as possible, I wanted to minimize the effect the completing challenges had if they had an effect at all. In order to do this, I did this testing when I was right at the end of level 55, and I used this same class in every game with a max level Razorback. My hope with this was to not complete challenges related to leveling up and weapon unlocks. Despite this though, I still completed other challenges, but they seemed to have no major impact on the results. So the first thing I learned was that completing challenges have little to no effect on the speed of earning crypto keys. I also only recorded games that I played in completion from start to finish, as it's obvious that you don't earn anywhere near as many crypto keys in a game you join late or quit early compared to a full one. But getting into the results, I've condensed what I found into a couple friendly graphs for you guys. For those of you that have had 21st century schooling techniques fail you, welcome to Astro Kitty's class. You may call me Sir or Mr. Astro. Mr. Kitty just sounds condescending. So a quick rundown on graphs. On the x-axis, you have your independent variable. This is the thing that you change on purpose in experiment. So in our case, we changed my score and KD ratio in each game. Obviously, the specific results weren't changed on purpose. If I could have a 10 KD ratio in every game, I would. But in playing 30 games, I knew my score and KD would vary quite a bit. So that goes on the x-axis. Now on the y-axis, we have our dependent variable. The dependent variable is the result that you measure in experiment. So in our COD experiment here, the thing that we measured was how many crypto keys we earned in each match. Now when looking at our two graphs here, you can see that our data points are a bit all over the shop. You could argue that there's a slight increase in crypto keys we earned as our KD and score got larger, but for me the results are way too crazy to be able to draw a relationship between these variables. Now when you've got a graph like this where there's no obvious line of best fit, it can mean one of two things. Either firstly your results are wrong, which in our case is extremely unlikely seeing as our KD and score are given to us at the end of every game, and in recording the crypto keys gained I only could have screwed up my measurements by one millimeter or less which would only result in an error of less than 0.01 crypto keys. Or of course, the second and more likely option, there is no relation at all between the variables you're testing. So what these two graphs show me is that your score and KD have no impact on the amount of crypto keys you earn in a match. However, if I take the same two graphs and now highlight the data points where I lost the match, now you can see we've got something going on here. It's obvious that the crypto keys I earned from a game that I lost were noticeably less than the games that I won. In the 30 games I played, I lost 13 of those games, and on average I received 0.86 crypto keys for my efforts. However, in the 17 games that I won, I recorded an average gain of 1.12 crypto keys per game. So all things considered, what can you guys do to maximize your gains in the crypto key department? Firstly, play full games. Rage quitting or losing connection is an excellent way of ensuring you'll lose potential crypto keys. Secondly, it is completely more important that you guys win the games that you play as opposed to having a crazy KD and not playing the objective. The highest gain in crypto keys I recorded for a loss was 1.03 and in that game I finished with 3,390 points and a 2.58 KD ratio. However, in a different game that I won, I was rewarded 1.08 crypto keys when all I did was break even and had 1700 score. On average, the results showed that I earned an extra 0.26 crypto keys for a win compared to a loss. Now that may not sound like much, but after 100 wins, it's almost an extra rare supply drop, and for the moment, there's no other way of increasing the amount of crypto keys you can earn. But guys, that's all I have for this video. Surprisingly, it was actually pretty fun to go and record results and draw conclusions from graphs. It reminded me a bit of senior physics, although senior physics wasn't really concerned with COD, so that might be it. But if you guys enjoyed and learned something new from this video, please leave a like and share this with your buddies that may be interested in the information in this vid. But I want to thank you very much for paying attention. This has been Mr. Astro, and I will see you all in the next class. Class dismissed.